The Valentine's Day West Seattle Art Walk featured over 20 artists. Hi, I'm Cheryl Westergreen, and this body of work is called Oceano Invernale, and that is Winter Ocean in Italian. And um, I was inspired by the idea of being um, in the in the winter in the ocean watching the storms and my work are abstract landscapes and cityscapes and I abstract in my mind an idea of a memory or a place I've been and then translate that with color and uh, form and mark on canvas and I generally work uh, oil on canvas or oil on board and um, I'm represented by the Seattle Art Museum Sales Rental Gallery and the Belushi Pisano Gallery in Martha's Vineyard. Hi, I'm Laura Lee, that's L-A-U-R-A-L-E-E, -E. and this is my jewelry here. I got involved with this because I like working in a creative medium and I especially am drawn to working with colors and natural materials so that I was really drawn to the stones and being able to work with my hands, pulling things together. So it's been really exciting for me to get involved with places like this, being able to work with the local artists and being part of the community of this. And this is the highlight right here that I have. Hi, my name is Birna Sika Bjornsdottir. I'm a, a jewelry artist based here in Seattle. I'm originally from Iceland. Um, I make jewelry that is reminiscent of mermaids and moon goddesses, is the best way to describe it. I use sterling silver, freshwater pearls, and semi-precious stones. Um, my jewelry has a lot of movement and a lot of flow, and I believe in helping a woman to look beautiful. Hey, thank you. My name is Eric Osborne of Art by E, and this is my solo show at Twilight Artist Collective here in West Seattle. This particular show is called Recycled Love. Recycled Love is basically everything here is done on recycled material. Fence, wood, old gun boxes, basically anything that I could find that wasn't bought. That being said, I did my take on, uh, on Valentine's Day, so that's what this is. I'm self-taught, I was born and raised in the desert of Tucson, Arizona. I've lived in the great Northwest for about 10 years, and I'm happy to say that I've been uh, working here consistently. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to stop by, check out what I do, support the arts, more so support Twilight Arts Collective. Hello, my name is Sue Fallon, and uh, I guess the reason why I like to paint and produce art is uh, it's kind of a meditation for me, and uh, it's a time when I can completely focus in on a particular place or a feeling or a mood, and um, it's probably um, one of the happiest places to be when you can uh, when you can achieve that, and usually the art. Um, will um, reflect that. Take pictures too, awesome. Bill Herberholtz. Um, well, what I wanted to do was I wanted to integrate um, my Russian movie poster um, kind of uh, fixation that I have with Americana and also to involve other media, like, uh, for example, like the acrylics. And I also wanted to use um, uh, words, and I like the fact that they're Russian, because I'm actually German-Russian, and I don't know what the words really mean. So I wanted to um, see if I couldn't involve Americana, images, say, from, like, the 40s, uh, like Bugs Bunny, with other um, uh, like 
images that we wouldn't normally think that would hold together. And the compositions are probably what's most key, that everything here kind of is, is a unit. Nothing really sticks out. For example, this one right here, Hi-Ho. I did this kind of as a tribute because uh, the first artists that I fell in love with were the Japanese printmakers. So I kind of did this as a tribute to them. images that I purchased in the Portobello market in London. They're um, nests and eggs and I have them in prints and also um, I frame them and also I have uh, black and white images um, on cards and um, mo most of the images I have are of nature and eggs and nests which I, I find beautiful. My name's Blaine Walsh, and this is my art. It's um, charcoal on cardboard and house paint. This is actually a series I did of just all my friends. And, uh, all the girls are from LA. My friend Nick's from Oregon. Yeah, I just kind of do it at home and have fun with it. I want people to love the art, and so it's not priced super expensive, so people can afford it, and um, I want people to touch it and learn. I think that you have to touch stuff to learn, and um, I allow that to, for my art. So. I'm Joyce McClure, and I'm a photographer and a writer. And when I was 11, my family and I moved to Iran. It was during that time in the late 50s that I first got to know about unique cultures throughout the world, and it, it uh, made me want to travel even more. So throughout the years, I've traveled all over the world, and most recently was in Ladakh, which is a very northern region up in the Kashmir province of India. And these photographs in this particular exhibition were taken in Ladakh last September. Uh, the culture is very unique. In fact, it's on the Tibetan border and is more Tibet than Tibet these days due to the Chinese invasion. And it's a, a very strong Buddhist culture. So I, I had the great good fortune of spending time for, for a month in Delhi, Dharamsala, and then up into Ladakh. And it was just, yeah, I call it a journey. It was more than a trip. It was a journey of a lifetime. This is uh, Frances Smirch's new line of jewelry, and it is um, cork, colored cork. There's three colors. And some of these pieces are reversible, so depending on how much cork and metal you want to show. Hi, I'm Kathleen Lopez, and this is my art. I do Polaroid manipulation, it's photography. And I start off with an old SX70 camera, and it's actually the film that creates this uh, illusion. It's sort of like painting with photography. Um, it's where the emulsion stays fluid between the uh, mylar and the backing, and then I just push it around to create sort of a painterly effect. Um, I just enjoy doing it because it's uh, it's fast, it's beautiful, and it has kind of a creamy, kind of milky, painterly feel. This is Pat Robinson for the WestSeattleHerald.com.